Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a premiere video, but this is going to premiere on October 27th at like midnight, I believe, for the Demon Hunter new album. And this is for Exile, the new album that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. This is only for the standard edition, so I will be doing a deluxe edition review come October 28th of release date. On the release date, of course, or maybe sooner, depending on if I find the extra two songs for the deluxe edition. So, yeah, this is for the standard edition for Demon Hunter's new album, Exile, that I just got done listening to, I think about an hour ago or something like that. So, I remember listening to it, so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 12 tracks on this new album of theirs, their long-awaited uh, 12th or 13th studio album for uh, Exile, and let you know my thoughts on this long-awaited album that was supposed to come out in September, but I will explain my critiques about that in the video. So let's dive into this uh, album review, this new album review. Now it starts with Defense Mechanism, or Defense Mechanism, featuring Max Cavalera of Soulfly. And personally, I wasn't connecting with Soulfly with their new album, Totem. It just wasn't a good album, in my opinion. I just wasn't feeling for Max Cal Cavalera's screams and all that was what they were going for with their new album back in August, so it's going to be on my worst albums, unfortunately, but pretty much Demon Hunter, I think did a good job on this album, but I have my critiques about this album, and I will explain why, um, the first song, like I said, I like it, it's a really good track, and it rocks for sure, Max Cavalera doesn't do much in this track, but it still works for what it's going for. Even if he's singing in his verse, it's it's solid. So 5 out of 5 for Defense Mechanism. Master is a great song. I really like this one, in my opinion. Um, I personally dig this track for what it's going for. And just the overall sound to it sounds pretty nice. I know it may not be everyone's cup of tea, this song, but... I still like it for what it's going for, so 5 out of 5. Silence the World featuring Thomas England was a pretty strong track. I really enjoyed it, and I forgot to mention uh, my critiques about why they've been pulling some crap with us for the past month and a half or so since they delayed this album from September 9th to sub October 28th. And the reason why is because they didn't have enough albums to sell to their fans and all that CD or vinyl stuff. They ran out or whatever, so they were like, oh, we're going to have to delay it. Uh, which they had three months to get it ready from June all the way to September of this year. And it didn't happen. And yeah, that kind of pissed me off a bit that they pushed it back almost two months later. So, I was just like, wow. And I made a video about this Demon Hunter drama with uh, basically saying they should release it on October 7th, which it didn't happen. So, it's okay. But still, back to the track list that I wanted to mention. I just wanted to mention that nitpick real quick with this review. So now we're going to go back into the track list. Silence the World, like I said, really enjoyed it. Tom S. England sounds really good vocally in this track. And also Ryan Clark sings pretty well in this track. So really enjoying this song. Even though it's a s over seven minute track, it still did very well in my opinion. So five out of five. Heaven Don't Cry is a personal favorite of mine. I really like this one. I think Silence the World, Heaven Don't Cry are my favorites. And there's Praise the Void, of course, which I'll get to that song soon. 
Uh, I like Ryan Clark's vocal potential in this track with Heaven Don't Cry. And it sounds really nice, so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. And give me a second, guys. i got to pause the video. Sorry, guys. Had to pause the video for a moment, but now we're going to get back into this. Uh, my mom was talking to me for a second, so I had to answer it. So, basically, yeah, Heaven Don't Cry, good song. I really enjoyed it, so 5 out of 5. Another Place is a really nice track. It's one of the regular songs for this album, which I know we got so many singles from them. That's another critique I have about Demon Hunter, that they dropped half the album already. And it it was just ridiculous. So, yeah. Uh, Another Place is a really nice song. I really like Ryan Clark's singing in this track and the execution on the, of the melody and all that and it is really good. So, 5 out of 5. Um, Freedom is Dead is a average song. Just wasn't connecting with this song too much. Uh, Ryan Clark Screams is alright, but it just repeats itself with Freedom is Dead quite a bit and some of the verses are a little weak in my opinion so but that's me i guess so if you don't agree with my opinion on that that's fine but still 3.5 out of 5 for freedom is dead i still don't think it's my favorite song on this album praise the void is a really nice track for the rock version to it i really like it and lyrically it's so dark so, I just wanted to mention that, but, yeah, it's really dark, but it works well with how Ryan Clark is singing the track. It's one of my favorite songs, and I really dug the resurrected version on the songs of Death and Resurrection, but this version's pretty good, too. Uh, so, yeah, the original version to the actual song itself is a great song, so 5 out of 5. Revolutions is a solid track. I'm not sure if I'm connecting with it, with how it was Brian Clark is singing it. And just scream-wise, it's good for certain sections in the track, meaning like the end to the verses and all that. So it's good, but it has some weak moments in the track with how the chorus sounds. So... 4.5 out of 5. Chemicals is a nice track. I just don't know if I'm feeling for Ryan Clark's vocal potential in the chorus. But he sounds good vocally majority of the time. But it just has an underlying problem where he can't really raise his voice a little too high. But I know he has a deep voice. But hey, uh, that's just a critique I have with this song but it still was a solid track so 4.5 out of 5 godless was another single we got and it's one of the last songs it's close to the end of the album of course but it features richie faulkner and this song was um pretty good in my opinion so really dug this track for what it was going for so, 5 out of 5, I got no complaints. You can definitely go check out my track reviews for all the singles I did. For Freedom is Dead, Heaven Don't Cry, Silence the World Master, Defense Mechanism, and Godless. Those are the tracks I did for um, all six of those reviews. So, you can definitely go check them out. Now to finish out the rest of this album review with Devotion. Devotion is a solid track. Um, some of the screams from Ryan Clark, I don't know if I can uh, get on board with, but it still did all right. So the track has some good moments, but has some weak moments as you go through the chorus and all that. So, yeah, 4.5 out of 5 in my opinion. It's a good track in its own way. Just has some weak moments. And finally, we get to the last song, Along the Way, for the regular edition. I will be reviewing the deluxe edition come either release date or um, probably the day before, right after this review comes out. So, yeah. 
Along the Way is a pretty strong track. I really like how it's sounding. It's a good closer to the regular edition, and I really like it, so 5 out of 5. Overall, production mixing and execution-wise, I think Demon Hunter Exile, in my opinion, is a good listen. It's a good album for what it is. It just has Freedom is Dead being the weakest song on this album, in my opinion. I just wasn't connecting with Ryan Clark's screams and just the way it was sounding overall. It just... I wasn't feeling for the track too much, in my opinion. I don't hate it. I just think it's average. Uh, so it could have been better. But, yeah, it's one song they went heavy with, but they repeated Freedom is Dead so much in that track. So that was one of my least favorites on this album. But the rest are solid and really strong tracks. So overall, I think Demon Hunter Exile is a good listen. Definitely recommend checking it out if you want to give this a shot and for a score for me. I'm going to give Demon Hunter's long-awaited studio album Exile an 8 out of 10. This was a good listen. Definitely recommend checking it out, seeing what you think of it for yourself. Because you don't have to agree with my opinion on what I scored it and all that. You might have a different score than me or a different rating system than me. But I personally... Uh, Thought it was a good album, just has some weak moments during the album, and they released so many singles. That's another thing for this album, and they delayed it. So, yeah, hopefully this doesn't get pushed back either, because the album is coming out really soon. It's just, yeah, I'm recording this for you guys on the 22nd, but this is coming out on the 27th. At midnight so definitely tune into this premiere video so with that being said comment below let me know what you guys thought of this premiere video for demon hunter exile if you've listened to this album already the regular edition if you did enjoy this uh demon hunter exile album review that i did for you guys tonight comment below and let me know your thoughts on it Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Support the channel. Like I said, this is premiering on October 27th at midnight. So definitely tune into this review. I'll probably have more videos coming out around this time too. So you may have to wait a couple days for this video to be out. But it's going to be on my YouTube page for the next four days or whatever. So but saying premieres that certain day, but hopefully you enjoyed this review. I might decide to buy this album, because I did enjoy the majority of the album, but basically uh, there was Freedom is Dead being the weakest, in my opinion, but that's just me, I guess. So, yeah, um... I will be returning to you for some other reviews before this review comes out. I know the House of the Dragon, I got to review uh, the final episode, but someone leaked it online, the full episode, and I'm like, oh my god, fucking assholes. So I'm waiting till like Sunday night or Monday to review it, but until then, stay safe guys, take care, I hope you enjoyed this premiere video for Demon Hunter Exile, one of the new albums that comes out on October 28th, and... I will do a deluxe edition review come uh, October 27th or October 28th. And as always, I will see you in my next review.